This weather report brought to you by 7-Eleven's Fuel Price Lock. Download the My 7-Eleven app and you could save on mobile quality fuel. It's good money and good for your conscience. An Australian business is looking for hundreds of workers to help in home care. You can earn thousands of dollars a month for performing simple household tasks. Doing the vacuuming, preparing meals, sharing a cuppa and a chat. Here you go, love. They're qualifications you didn't know you had for a job in demand. Much better pay than you'd get at any other part-time job and much more rewarding. Trish Lyons has been helping Melissa Bond for around a year now. The bubbly 44-year-old lives with chronic pain and spinal issues, which means she can't do certain tasks around the home. I'd be lost without Trish. She allows me to, to continue to be able to uh, have some quality of life. They were matched through Platform 5 Good Friends, who are looking for 750 extra workers. They set their own rates. Most helpers earn between $37 and $40 an hour. They could earn a couple of thousand dollars a month extra. Sue Ellen and Tony Shaw have been married for 40 years. When Tony was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, Sue Ellen struggled to care for him and find time for herself. I think it was starting to get on top of me. Her helper, also named Sue, signed up to keep busy after retirement. You can work according to your capacity or what you, your abilities. Like helping out with meals, cleaning, watering the plants, and talking rugby with Tony. Rugby league, she's quite uh, knowledgeable. To sign up, there's no experience necessary, but you do need to pass a background check, have a car and a driver's licence and an ABN. Details are on our Facebook page to make money and a difference in someone's life. Georgie Chumley, 7 News. Weather time now. Tony, you're at a new farm tonight. Yes, Max, just enjoying a view of the iconic story bridge behind me here tonight on a cool winter's evening for the winter solstice or shortest day of the year. We'll start to get a little bit more daylight from tomorrow, especially into spring and summer, of course. Now, across the southeast today, lighter winds, a bit less cloud overall than yesterday. Top steady, but it was a cooler morning at 10 to 23 degrees here around Brisbane, but desert pushed up to 24. Now, looking at the bigger picture, the ridge along our coast has weakened. That's the reason for our lighter winds. Still a couple of showers for the north tropical coast and exposed parts of the central coast, while down south a cold front sweeping across Victoria and southern New South Wales bringing a little bit of wet weather there. Tomorrow that system weakens and continues to clear off the New South Wales coast, but the net result is we get a slightly warmer burst of westerly winds to start the day, then slightly cooler subtleties set in late behind that system. Otherwise clear for much of the mainland, but another significant cold front does approach the west. It's set to bring some late showers to Perth, while Adelaide and, uh, well, Adelaide could see a light sprinkle dry further east, a top of 14 degrees in Hobart. Now back home to Queensland in the tropics, trade winds keep pushing showers onto the north tropical coast, including around Cairns. Townsville and Mackay staying dry, though the Whit Sundays area could see a couple of drops. Over southern districts, lots of sunshine, again broken up with a little bit of high cloud up towards the Capricornia. A touch warmer, tops of 25 in Longreach, Emerald and Rockhampton. Across the southeast, another perfect winter's day. Great to gloat about if you have family or friends shivering away down south. A cool morning, then mostly sunny as tops creep just above the June average. Ipswich and Bow Desert up around 24. And across the suburbs, a few 23s through inland parts, while Redcliffe should top out around 22 degrees. If you're keen to take the boat out, light winds, variable below 10 knots, most likely light westerlies early, then light easterlies into the afternoon. So in Brisbane, sunny skies for your Wednesday, excuse me, 10 to 23 degrees. While today is the shortest day of the year, we're only expecting less than an extra second of daylight tomorrow. Looking ahead, you can just about copy and paste for a few days. Blue skies, tops just above average for the rest of the working week. In Ipswich, night still chilly, but the days make up for it. Tops of 23 degrees through to Sunday. On the Gold Coast, warmer nights, but cooler days, 22s and 21s through the next week. And on the Sunshine Coast, look, it changes a little. A couple of showers are set to return into the early and middle parts of next week. As Sharon and Max, some good news as I go here. La Nina, it's affected our summer, has finally ended. I'm sure that'll be welcome news for many. Oh, hallelujah. Good <laughs> Thank you, Tony. And that is all from us this Tuesday. Thanks for your company. Tomorrow on Sunrise, the Ipswich veteran with a skill for nail art. How the career swap has changed his life. But for now, from all the team, have a good night. Good night.